Hi, my name is Sarah Hebert Birch, and I'm a proud member of the Preservation Trust. One of the things that I love about living here is sharing these islands with our hummingbird friends. One of the most amazing things to me about the hummingbirds is that one of our species, the Anna's hummingbird, lives here all year round, even through the cold winter. And for a little bird, that could be an enormous problem because being small and warm, warm-blooded, in a cold environment is incredibly costly when it comes to energy. But hummingbirds have a really useful trick. And the strategy they use is very much like the strategy you might use in your own home on a winter night. To save energy, you turn down the thermostat. And so what the hummingbirds do to save energy is they turn down their body temperature thermostat. And when they do that, they are saving energy. They're entering a state called torpor, and you can think of torpor as sort of a short-term, shallow hibernation. Okay, so they have a trick, but aren't hummingbirds supposed to live in the tropics? Why are they living here in this cold place in the winter? Well, it turns out these birds actually used to live mainly in Southern California, but over the last hundred years or so, they've been steadily moving the Northern part of their range northward. And now they actually breed here and they even have moved to the North of us and are breeding in Southern British Columbia. So why have they moved far north like this? Well, the climate is changing, that's part of it. Another part of it is that they're moving specifically to places where people live, where people who plant flower-filled gardens live, where people who put up feeders live. One of the most amazing things about that to me is that although they've moved so far, they actually haven't changed the time when they breed. They still, start breeding in December and go through about June. So what that means is that during our recent cold snap, when we had snow on the ground, sub-freezing temperatures for days on an end, on end um, we were feeding hummingbirds, some of them fledglings from this year. Some of the adult females were tending nests. They had eggs in there that they were incubating or they were feeding nestlings. So I spent a long time studying these birds. I started studying hummingbirds about 40 years ago. And in the beginning, I thought of these little animals as tiny, fragile little creatures. What I've learned over the years is that in fact, in many ways, they are incredibly tough. And I hope that learning a little bit about what these birds are up to in your environment will help you enjoy them.